Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 114 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a double arrow even problem by Florian Wortman, and the double arrow constraint, I'm not sure if it's one we've seen on the Sudoku problem series before. So the way double arrows work is the digits that are placed on the line of a um, double arrow must sum to the same as the circles at the end of that line. So of course, and the even of course is a gray square must be even. Um, the um, goal of the, of course is to place the digit in the cell marked with an X. Um, there'll be a link below to where you can get a copy of this grid so you can try the problem for yourself. Um, I'm just going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video and give this a try um, and then I'll be back to try and explain how this one works. Okay, so double arrows, there's a couple of different ways of looking at this one. Um, and I'm going to explain the math heavy version first, and then I'll try and explain that again using a bit more first principles. So we know that in a Sudoku box, it will contain all of the digits from one to nine. So it's going to sum to 45. So, and 45, an important thing to know about that is it's divisible by three, because what we know is yellow, green, and blue are all going to have the same total because this line must sum to the same as the arrows at the end and the arrows at the end will sum to the same as blue. So that is three times the same total. So those are going to be cells that are divisible by three. And we know that 45 is divis divisible by three. So if you subtract a number that is divisible by three from something that is divisible by three, you will end up with something that is divisible by three. So this cell in the middle must be divisible by three. So it must be three, six or nine. It must be even, so it must be a six. Now that's the way of doing it that is math heavy. You may not understand the concept of that quite as easily. So I might want to go through that in a slightly different way to explain it to you, just so that you can lock that one in. So I'm going to restart the grid. Um, and the way I'm going to explain it is, okay, we know that this again, yellow, green, and blue. Um, so these are all going to have the same total. So those are going to be a multiple of three. Now, the question you want to ask yourself is what can that multiple of three be? So if these were 11, we would know that these this entire thing would sum to 33. And to get to the 45, this would have to be a 12. That's not going to work. If this is a 12 then these all together would sum to 36 and this central digit would have to be a nine. Well, that's not even, that's not going to work. If, if these were 13, then 13 by three is 39 and the central digit would have to sum to a six and that's a possibility. If these were um, 14, then 14 times 3 is 42. 42 um, means that to get 45 minus 42, we mean this has to be a 3, which is not even. That's not going to work. And if we go up again, 15, 3 times 15 is 45, and this would have to be a 0, which is not a valid Sudoku digit. So the way we're left over from doing that is a 6. And that's the way of doing it by working out the options rather than just relying on the um, any number that is divisible by three minus something that is divisible by three must leave something divisible by three. You can prove that to yourself the different way by just using the, the casing to eliminate the options. And that might be a more comfortable way of people who are doing it who are less familiar with math. That is definitely the way I would do it. So hopefully that is an interesting one to you. Um, I, I'm going to kind of rate this one a medium. Um, some people look at this one and go, oh, that's a six. Others were like, hang on a minute. And they had to sort of case their way through it. So some of the testers. So yeah, we'll see how this one goes. Um, I'll definitely be interested in seeing the feedback. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you're enjoying all of the other content on the channel. And as always, good luck with your solving.